All right, welcome to the video. Methodical Man here. Just going to go ahead and take a few minutes to go over the uh, trade copier for Quantower and go over how to set this up and how to use it for multiple prop firms. So what we're going to want to do is open the Quantower and then uh, open Quantower and we're going to want to go up here to the store first of all. So let's click on the little icon at the top. Let's go to open store. And that's going to bring us to this tab here. And we're going to need to buy the features. Uh, we don't need the $70 all-in-one license. You don't need that. Come down here and you go to buy pro features of part. All you do need is the advanced features. That's all we need. It's $25 a month. So let's find the advanced features right here. So you would just simply click on buy. I already have it. But what we're looking for in the advanced features is the simultaneous connection. That's the important one. So once you buy the, the advanced features there for $25 a month, we can close out of that. And then we're going to set up our connections. So what we're going to do to set up the connections there, we're just going to click on the two arrows at the top here. That's going to bring up your connections there. I'm going to bring this over here so we can work with it a little bit easier. And once you have your connections, all connections need to be set up through AMP Futures Rhythmic. So if you're setting up a connection, this is the tab you want to use, even if it's top step. We don't want to set up a top step connection through the top step link, um, the preset one here. If you do that, then the top step connection will not copy. So you want to have it set up as an AMP Futures Rhythmic connection. So once you add one, you're going to put your username and password here. And then you're going to set it up using the same criteria that you normally would. Uh, you can rename this once you add this. And that's what I did here. So you can rename it. So, for example, for top step, uh, let's just disconnect. Or for Apex here, we're going to have our username, password, and it's going to say Apex Chicago for the server. All right. We're going to connect. Top step, username, password. And it's going to say top step trader Chicago area. That's it. Simple. Same thing, my funded futures, you would do something very similar. Username, password, rhythmic paper trading Chicago. And the server that you need to use is readily available on the, you know, on uh, whichever prop firm's website that you're using. Most time you can get the server information from there easily. So that's once you got your connections connected. So you can see we have two connections here. We're just going to stick with two for this example. Then what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to set up our copy trader. So let's go back over here. And in order to do that, we're going to click on the icon here for Quantower. We're going to go down here to CTR. It says copy trading, as you can see there. It's going to bring that up. I'm going to bring it over here just so we can work with it a little better. And to, in order, you can see I, I have several copy trader set up here. In order to set up a new one, we're just going to hit the plus sign. And we're just going to name this one whatever we want. I'm going to name it test one. And we want to set up a parent connection. All right, well, it already has my express funded account on there for the parent connection. So we'll just leave that. And then to hit the child connection, now you can select from any group that's connected for the parent connection. It can be either one, even a practice account. For the child connections, we're just going to hit the plus sign here. And you can see it has all all connected accounts here. We can select any that we want. So, and then uh, we can add as many as we want. So we're just going to go through here and add for, you know, whatever, six. So we can add all these that we want to add. Okay. As many as we need, 20, 25, doesn't matter. Obviously the more you add, the more of an oper more of a chance there is for um, something to kind of go wrong. Um, so I typically recommend sticking to six or seven at a time. You can put more on here. You're just going to have to babysit it a little bit more. So once we get everything set up, we're going to hit save. And we can see all these are working, right? You can hit stop to turn it off. And if you want it to work, you hit run. And then it's going to have this pop up. All positions and orders will be synchronized due to bot settings. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, we want to continue. So now it shows that test one account is working. 
So now that we have all of the, we have the copy trader, trader set up there, we are going to just give you an example to how you test whether or not the copy trader is actually working. So on the right here, we have our parent account, and on the left, we have one of the followers. So if we take an order and we drop it on the, uh, on the right here, it's going to appear on the left as well. See it there? That's a simple way to test that the copy trader is working. Now, if you take the order away on the right, it disappears on the left as well. So that's how you would test it. Now, if you set up an ATM strategy here, let's just do that. Same thing, put an order over here. It's going to appear over here with the ATM strategy that you set up here. So nice and simple there. Now, one of the uh, things that I like to do is open a positions tab. And that way, um, if a order gets stuck or if you have some sort of problem with it, uh, you can take the positions tab. I like to put it right here next to the copy trader. So I just switch over to the positions tab. This shows me every order. So once we're filled on our eight, 10 accounts that we have that we're copy trading, once we're filled, it'll show every position open here. And then once we're filled for our stop loss or our take profit, of course, it's always the take profit, right? Then all those orders should disappear. This should go back blank. If you see anything left here, then that means one of the orders did not close. And you're going to need to come here and manually close all or select the order and close the selected order. The reason you would use the selected order, let's say you were in another position on another account that you didn't want to close, maybe it's a long-term hold, then you're going to select the in particular account that you want to close out and hit close. Now, if an order does get stuck, it can go red on you, so something to be aware of. Um, you could be in the green 10 points, and if this order gets stuck here, that's an open order. So you need to be paying attention to the positions tab while you're using the copy trader. No copy trader is perfect, and you will have these types of issues with every copy trader that you use, no matter what it is, no matter what anyone tells you. Um, I found that with this copy trader, like I said, it's best to be under 10 accounts for it to work the best um, and for you not to really have issues. But that being said, I know people who are using 25 or 30 accounts at one time, and sometimes in order to get stuck, and they just uh, they just have to manually close it. So. It's up to you how you use it. But that's going to be it. That's a basic explanation of the copy trader for Quantower. Like I said, you can trade across multiple prop firms, Apex, Bulinox, My Funded Futures, Top Step, all at one time. No need to have multiple brokerages or multiple platforms open anymore to, uh, to trade across all those. So it's pretty much a game changer there. And that's it. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you are interested in trading futures, do got all the links down below for Top Step, Apex, and Bulinox. If you are signing up for a Top Step account or resetting an account, we do ask that you use our link. It does help the channel. It doesn't give you any extra discount if you're an extra customer, but it does help the channel. Of course, we have all the codes down below for Apex and Bulinox if you're interested in those. Um, if you want direct access to me, I do have the link to the Discord down below. That is $10 a month, but you're able to message me directly if you have a question about the trade copier or anything else in general. So if you're interested in that, sign up. If not, we do trade live five days a week, 9.15 a.m. for the New York, 3 a.m. Eastern for the London. And we'll see you guys then. Appreciate you watching.